What is up guys, Hunter Yans here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rappel down a bluff, a cliff, just something that you're not comfortable with just, you know, walking down. How to rappel down something like that with just a rope. All you need is a rope. Okay, so right here I have, um, right here there is just a pretty good little bluff here. Um, you guys might not be able to tell a lot, but it's a pretty good sized bluff, probably about 15, 20 feet down right there. So you obviously wouldn't want to just um, try to just like slide down that or um, jump down it or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our rope out. All right, so I got uh, probably about 100, 120 feet of 10 millimeter climbing rope. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go hook this around a tree um, near the bank, and then we'll bring it back over here. Make sure the tree is alive. You know, obviously this tree is alive. So, uh, get that around the tree. Make sure the rope goes down. Now we're gonna pull this side with the rope down. All right, so as you can see here, both ends of the rope are touching the, the ground. All right, so now let's get to repelling. All right, so now that you have your rope wrapped around the tree, and then you got both ends going down the bluff, you have two ends like this. So what you're gonna wanna do step in between the ropes just like that now you want to take the ropes wrap it around your waist step over the ropes take the ropes and go through your legs and then come out on one side and now what you can do is you can lean back on this and that's not going anywhere you let off a little pressure with your right hand or left-handed you're left-handed and you go down all right so again take the ropes step in between the ropes wrap the ropes around your waist step over the ropes bring it through your legs and out to one hand if you're left-handed bring it out to this side but I'm right-handed so I'm gonna bring it out to this side so grab a hold of these ropes and this is the part, you want to just trust your ropes, you want to lean all the way back, and just go down this bluff. The edge is always the hardest part. Now, alright, so you want to make sure you are always leaning very far back. You don't want to start to lean forward or these ropes will come up. So, you're just very very slowly letting a little bit of pressure off of these ropes all right so we got to the bottom of the bluff all right so we just got to the bottom of this bluff you guys kind of the bluff from a different angle um pretty tall so you obviously wouldn't want to just kind of jump down that bluff right there. So it's a good thing that you repelled down it. And let me just give you a heads up right now. Repelling this way without any kind of harness, um, just using the ropes as friction around your waist, definitely is a little bit more dangerous than, you know, using a harness, a lot more dangerous than using a harness and a repelling system. And I gotta tell you, it can hurt a little bit. Um, the friction, you know, rubbing against your uh, waist and stuff, unless you have some really thick pants on, it's gonna hurt. And it doesn't hurt too bad, honestly. If you take it slow, it won't hurt that bad. But, yeah.
Now once you get to the bottom, the way that you're going to um, pull your rope down is all you do is you just grab one side and you start pulling. So that's why you just wrap it once around a tree. So once you get to the bottom, you can pull your rope right back out. Woo! There's a rope. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. And um, I hope that you will come outside, outdoors, you know, find something to do, go repelling off a bluff, get outside. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. I'll see you later.